So this is a coat that I actually got recently at Macy's. Um, I did get it on sale. Um, I almost sent it back. Um, it's a 2X. The nice thing about it is that it's machine washable on cold, um, which would be good if I'm going on a business trip. I don't want to, um, I want something that I can wash. Um, and because I'm not going to bring a whole lot of coats, so I need at least one that I can wear. Um, but the problem was the fit on the arms um, because my upper arms are, are heavy set. Um, the um, that was an issue. So the first thing that I did was um, I, there were seams here. Um, it's a bifold um, sleeve. Um, so I did take out um, the seam allowance as far as I could. Um, because I need I needed like 18 inches at the um, greatest width of the sleeve so um, so um, I have my ta tape measure here um, so I was able to take this out all the way to the I need every like inch that I can get um, so it had like a little seam allowance here like maybe and I pressed it to try to get rid of it um, so that would give me a little extra room there on um, and I think I actually make so along here just to well I, I actually think it's firm enough um, I won't have to do that but anyway so um, you know um, to get around the circumference of my um, upper arms, I needed 18 inches. So this is about nine, yeah, a little more than 18 inches. So it just makes it, it, um, it is a little bit, it has some lycra in it, so it is a little bit stretchy, but you know, I don't want it to appear tight. Um, but still the arm side, um, is too tight, a little too tight. So I was researching that, and I actually have never done this before, but um, I, I took this seam out also, left the serge seam in, um, and I am gonna be trying to increase the size of the um, arm side. Um, I'm gonna just like kind of scoop it out. I think that's what they call it. So um, I'm actually going to be scooping it out mostly in the back. Um, this is the back of the jacket and I have it basted here. Um, so this is going to give me, um, you know, when I measured what I have here, this will give me like an extra inch or in the arm side. I think it's just going to fit so much better. And um, I'm hoping I won't even have to trim it down. I mean, I might, um, I do, I, I do have serger thread. Um, I was looking, I do have, you know, in case I have to resurge and cut it down, but I'm hoping I won't have to because if I can leave the seam allowance and it fits all right, I'm gonna leave it because um, my size changes and who knows, I might be a smaller size. <laughs> Um, if I start doing my arm exercises, <laughs> I will. So, you know, when you measure this, okay, and I'm just measuring this, and this is one of the ways you can increase the armhole. This is always an issue for me with ready-made garments. Um, you know, if it, it, it'll fit in the bust and the waist everywhere else, but it's too tight in the arms because my arm upper arms are heavy so let's see what we have here I'm just gonna go around so I'm just give, trying to give myself even if I can give myself an extra inch in this armhole um, that is gonna be really helpful 
So this is a little more than 24. It's like 24 and a quarter inches. So um, now if I cut this out, so let me do this again. I'll start at this point and let's see how much it gives me. Okay, I'm going to see how much um, I'm giving myself. I had 24 inches and a quarter, so from this point all the way around. Okay, so this is the seam right here. Okay, and this I'm scoop, scooped it out. This is the back of the jacket, and I scooped it out here mostly in the back because I think that's where I have the most um, room and it would be the least noticeable to make this change and um, I basted it and I tried it on and it you know seems to fit better um, feel better anyway and I think it looks better and I really think it's the best I'm going to be able to do um, I'm not sure if I'm going to cut the seam allowance off or leave it if if I can leave it I might because my size can change so much and um, so We'll see. All right, how much am I giving myself here? How much more? If any. <laughs> Make sure that's flat, good and flat. Well, it, it looks like so I'm giving myself two inches, two additional inches by scooping it out. So I think that's going to be really help quite a bit. And when I tried it on, it just felt so much better. Um, because the largest part of my arm is 18 inches, um, you know, very heavy set. And you need to have, you know, quite a bit of ease around the arm side. Um, let's see, that would give me 18, yeah, so that gives me, um, what is it, 8 inches? And I think they even recommend 10 inches. Um, so, um, yeah. So, I did transfer uh, the mark, you know, uh, I actually pinned this and I haven't basted it, basted it. And I transferred those basting lines here on the other side um, and scoop the other the other half of the sleeve out too yeah so we'll see I'm gonna try basting it first and we'll do a fit try on and um, see if that's gonna be the final placement <laughs> hi guys Maggie here I'm working on my coat uh, scooping out the leaves so we're going to do this one um, I am prepared to resurge it you know do the surging again so let's see now I'm just if I want to do this with the free arm, I might. I think I might take this off here and do this. This. I think it might make it easier to get around the curves here. So I have this basted. Yeah, that's that's going to be definitely easier. Okay. And I have. I need to resurge the, the seams I'm prepared to do that. So here we go. 
Right. Hoping that this, I'm gonna make sure everything's flat and it go nice and slow. Okay. I'm gonna do a little back stitch. I have one other coat that I'm adjusting um, that is too big that I got. That's, I've actually had it for over a year and I've never worn it because it need, needed um, some work. <laughs> it's too big, the sleeves are too long, and the jacket was just too long. Um, I actually also think I got it either at Macy's or at Kohl's. I'm not sure. And um, I tend to pick these up when they I pick them up when they're, you know, when they're a good price. I find these fantastic prices on things. And um, I have a black one. That, um, make sure that's flat. Um, the problem with it is too long. It's about three inches too long. Um, and the sleeves are too long. The sleeves are about two inches too long. And what's the other problem with it? Um, it's a little big. It's a, it's a 3X, which is too big, but it's a big 3X. Um, I'm gonna leave it kinda big. I'm gonna take, take it in slightly at the waist. Um, leave it from there. So. Oh, what the heck was that? Okay. Hmm. Oh, a piece of my presser foot just broke off. Huh, okay. wear and tear. Okay, just a little plastic presser foot. Okay. And hopefully I won't have to do any more picking on this. Okay, that's it. Here we go on this. Let's see. Let's see how it did. So, what I might be doing is I might be surging. Luckily, I do have the right colored thread. I'll be surging this out, possibly. I'm gonna try it on and see if the seam allowances are an issue. If this is kind of teaching myself, um, if I, get this technique down, I can do it on, I have another jacket that, same reason, I, it's actually a, a Talbot's jacket that I got several years ago and I, I paid full price on it. Um, and I have never worn it because of the same reason. But I think that one has a seam, um, 
I think I'm going to try this on that one too if I have to. I just kind of scared. This one, I can't remember what I paid for this, but I know I got it like at a markdown price. tie some of these loose ends um, up, knead them up a little bit. I did also take the shoulder uh, shoulder pads out of this because that, um, I don't really need them and I actually don't like shoulder pads and that also was taking up room. That was also taking up like uh, a good, um, that looks good to fix those loose threads um, it was taking up um, uh, what was I gonna say uh, space you know it was um, about a, probably about half an inch that I needed so it is um, fitted it's very fitted And I have several tops that I can wear with it and some that I made myself. So just tie off some of these ends here. Let me just check this again. Let's see. It's going to need to be pressed, but that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I didn't do anything along the top. That, I didn't fool around with that at all. So I just scooped it out. So, okay. I have this little extra here, so you can see, well, you can see a little bit because that's where the previous seam was here and here, which gave me like half an inch there, so. Okay. All right, that looks good. Okay, so I did both sleeves. Um, um, believe it or not, <coughs> um, I feel like my left arm is a little bit bigger than my right arm <laughs> because it feels like a little bit tighter than the than the new improved right <laughs> right one. This actually feels great. Um, so you know it is definitely very fitted, and taking the shoulder pads out <clears throat> helped a lot, but. Hi guys, Maggie here. I'm here with my jacket and um, I did do a little modification. Uh, I um, On the left side, um, for some reason, the I just have this basted in and I'll show you. For some reason, this sleeve was too tight tighter than the right side. Um, I don't know if it's, it has something to do with, um, you know, I think it's like the bust and the size of the, your arms and everything. So um, I think possibly it might be because my left bust is slightly, ever so slightly larger than my right because I actually had um, a lump taken out of my 
<laughs> my right my right side um, that might be too TMI but I had a lumpectomy on my right side so um, so I so what I have done is I added a little gusset here and um, I have I haven't sewn it um, in yet I have it basted um, I actually got the fabric from the inside of the jacket there was a little here I stole a little piece off here and I added the trim right back I'll show you where I got it I might do it to the other side and I or I might not because the other side fits um, and it's really not an issue so it has this little tab here um, and I drew a line right here in case I decide to take it off on this side too and um, it's really actually unnecessary um, I mean I think it goes all the way over here just so it can be attached in here um, but I just um, took this off here and I used that as the material for my gusset. I added this trim back. So yeah, so I have it basted and I am going to be sewing it. Um, I did have to ease it a little bit and I'm hoping that um, once uh, um, th this will ease in okay because it added um, you know added some room to this sleeve so either the arm itself is a little bit bigger than the right or it's just it just has to do with a lot of different things the size of the bust the you know the size of your arms but with this little gusset here I did take out a tiny bit here in this seam too with the gusset here and at least basted now I know it looks messy basted but in this little triangle you can't it's like imperceivable but um, this side now fits okay so I might not even do it to the other side because I'm happy with the other side <laughs> the fit on the other side so uh, whatever it takes I guess okay so the next thing is I'm going to be sewing it This is the scooped out part. It gives me a little more room in the, um, you know, the arm side. Because I need that also. I need the room in the arm side and then also in the arm itself. on the um, left side because the right right side um, I'm a little smaller on the right side 
um, and, and I didn't actually didn't need the gusset on that side. So um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with it. It is quite fitted. Um, and the back, I think I should be able to enjoy it. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video and have a great night.